Ahoy there, traveler. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry for the delay, guys, but this is day four. Join me, will you, as we go down memory lane and probably infuse it with a whole bunch of imagination. Grab a cup of joe, whatever is your drink of choice. Sit back, relax for some music, and me ranting on. All right, guys, let's get started. Have you always wanted to build a treehouse? I bet you guys must have had some pretty fond memories. I always wanted to, but somehow we just couldn't get to it. Me and a couple of pals of mine would always try something or the other, trying to put some cardboards together, maybe reinforce it with a couple of not very strong twigs, but crisscross them and this, that. It just didn't work out. So this is probably all my dreams coming together so that I can make a treehouse fortress 2.0. Of course, I'm trying to throw in as much imagination as I can. So let's see what happens. You can see I'm just starting off with a tree. Again, a tree is not one of my strong suits. The bark comes out fine, but the leaves, the leaves, the leaves, the leaves just seem such a pain, you know, you just keep drawing every little leaf out there. It's fun, but not when you're trying to do a speed, um, a speed painting of sorts. Anyway, just trying my best here. So I wanted to make the tree look as big and strong as possible. Nice and chunky with a nice hefty bark, nice healthy big tree. Been there for many, many years, decades and decades, but uh, so that, you know, we can actually have a nice fortress on it. You'll see what I mean. A couple of leaves here and there. And that's, uh, look at that, that's the, that's actually the catapult, it's basically like a catapult turret. So it's not any small catapult, you can see the size of it in proportion to the tree. It'll probably like, take about two kids or two or three kids to just yank back and fire. It can fire a couple of small rocks. These are like for defense of the fortress. You'll see a couple of more of them. Here are the platforms along with some uh, makeshift railings just as you climb along the bark and the branches of the tree to reach from one platform to another. You see a rope ladder going up from one platform to the one on top. And of course we have cardboard reinforcement, gotta have that cardboard, I had to, I had to just put that in. Cardboards on the sides. And you have the rubber tire swing. <laughs> I'm not sure why that's there. I guess it's just for recreation. When you're getting bored, you can just climb down and swing on the tire. See one of the higher points, something like a crow's nest out there. It's a lookout point along with a little makeshift telescope and a little umbrella on top. It's a little silly having the umbrella there, but anyway, I doubt kids would be bothered about the sun beating down on them. Here you get the second turret catapult. And I'm adding some seating to the first turret. Now you get the third catapult turret. Here's some boundary rocks, you know, just in case, you know, no rival gangs or monsters can come creeping along this. And some more reinforcement up top, more cardboard here and there. Hold it up and put, they probably use some nails, I guess that's not, uh, not exactly as the safest tree house, but hey, it's a kid's dream, right? Getting some colors in, just uh, doing a quick job here. That's the thing about trees, you know, it's, it seems tough in the beginning, but the moment you, the pencil starts moving along, it's just this, it's a beautiful flow of everything that nature has to it. You know, these, uh, it's, it's beautiful. The rhythm in which the lines and the strokes go and the leaves and the textures and everything of the bark of the tree, texture of the wood and then the leaves and everything, it's real fun. The contrast is having the man-made stuff and the natural stuff together because they're two very, very different forms. You've got angular stuff on one side and then you've got the natural, you know, very, a random uh, sense of design and everything that goes into everything that's uh, in nature.
adding some uh, shading of course you'll see a lot of uh, shading going back and forth later on as well some shadows coming in then going out and popping back in as i've said before i just do it as i go along this is purely from not from memory but i guess from imagination and hence it's not exactly the best drawing out there this is just quick drawings whenever i can get the time i'm sorry but this one came really late that's uh sorry about that guys i'm planning to do some live drawings as well it's just that I'm not sure how well that would go and I need to set things up accordingly. Probably put that on Instagram, stories or maybe even Facebook live. I don't know. Let's see. Here you go. You're just adding some, you know, quick leaves here and there using some different brushes. And then some uh, highlights for the sunlight. But you'll notice something here. Have you guys noticed it yet? There's a slight mistake in the shadows. Not the slight mistake. It's a pretty big mistake in the shadows and the light. See that? That's me trying to correct the shadows. And uh, it was on the opposite direction. The light and the leaves was falling from the different direction. I'm trying to highlight that part in the bark. And now you can see the play of shadows. It's not just shadows on the bark, the right side is dark and the left is light. It's also the shadows of the leaves and the branches and the heavy leaves and the, the heavy foli foliage basically coming onto the bark and on the branches which are below it, along with the shadows coming on the uh, on the treehouse itself. I don't know, guys, just, just imagine being on this. You know, I, I really feel like having many, many more sessions of this, just amping up this treehouse, having a couple of rival treehouses and seeing how those go. You know, you can have different factions and stuff. Uh, my imagination is just going wild with this. It's amazing. Just imagine playing on these kind of things when you're a kid. You know, having different battle stations, you've got a lookout post on top, you've got reconnaissance, you've got the turret catapults underneath and one on top as well, just to fend off. I was actually thinking of having zombies in this treehouse actually in action with the kids defending it. <laughs> but I guess time didn't allow. Let's see, we'll definitely have that later. Definitely, definitely. I'll put it out there. Promises, promises, let's see. Okay, so some highlights on the uh, on the cardboards and on the wood, etc. Getting some sunlight in there, basically having some. It's probably evening-ish time, which is why you see the pinkish sunlight. Got to highlight the ladder. It was looking a bit boring, you know, with all the outlines and everything. This is me rendering over the outlines so that it doesn't give too much of that comic-y feel to it. You're not getting into too many details at all in this. Just doing some cleanup here and there, but just leaving it a little, you know, raw and I don't know. It just felt right. There we go. See that? Another play of shadows. Seems a bit messy underneath. I don't know. A bit overdone. Oh yeah, how would they get up there? This is what I realized when I just got a drink of water and came back. Of course, you've got to have the faction. A generic skull and crossbones. Sorry, guys. That's probably the most unimaginative thing there on the treehouse up now. So that's about it. Let me know what you guys think. And also, what were your treehouse experiences? Please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And, uh, you know, hear your stories of what you, what, what all you guys did with your band of friends while growing up. I didn't exactly have that experience, but trying to build that treehouse was definitely, definitely fun.
All right, I'll probably see you guys in the next video. Until then, this is Smokeship signing off.